Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today we're joined with Am Louie and Crackhead for today's video. So thank you to them for joining me. Um, this video is going to be about the biggest questions asked in Colobus or Colobus or however you want to say it. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Make sure to watch to the end to find out secret things about this game that you prob probably did not know about. So let's go. So first of all is one of our biggest questions is if you can be a moderator and that is can I be <laughs> yeah you'll you'll hear a lot of that if you Give if you're a moderator but um the rule is you're not allowed to ask for moderator so yeah let's just i don't think it's on there but you're not allowed you will get you'll get a couple warnings and then you'll probably get banned for like an hour but yeah yeah um so the next question is are you allowed to swear like the thing is that happens that, that, that lot, doesn't it but you are allowed to swear but not directly at someone so if you're just like swearing because of anger or whatever but isn't, you're allowed isn't to do it. swearing toxic behavior yeah but only if it's directly at someone so personally I, I don't think it is yeah but what if it starts spreading which normally happens or if it's like racism swearing then you'll get banned for quite a long time but yeah next question is like does maz make money off colo bus and the uh, the answer is no he does not make money off colo bus but he does make money off things such as selling things on discord from for the game so if you don't already know, there's a currency in the game uh, called bananas, and it's over here. And you can buy bananas on the Discord, which will require you to have PayPal. And then what? Are you okay? Yeah, but the max bananas you could buy at one time is 10,000. So, and I, I'll put a picture on the screen right now of how many, how much that cost. But yeah, next up is, of course, uh, m moderators being moderators. Like, how did they get that? Yeah. And the answer is, I do have a video linked to that on my channel on how to become a moderator. But go I'll quickly say now, yeah, go watch it. I mean, um, don't watch it. Don't. No, 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 go watch it. Don't listen to him. And what you want to do is you can either buy it because it's going to be pretty expensive since we already have a lot. But if you really want to be moderator and you have like no like you have quite a lot of money but that you just want to spend and help us out, you can go buy it for $50, which will get trial mod. From there, you can work your way all the way up to developer slash founder which is like the same role as Maz, which you have to help develop the game and work on it. But you have to be very highly trusted. Like, like more trusted than like, RC versus. Yay. So the next up is, are you allowed to do the glitch? Um, oh, I'm sure you guys know what the glitch is. I'm sure you've all seen my TikTok. Oh, no. And the answer to that is yes, you are allowed to do the glitch but not in a public session. So, um, if you're in a private with one of your friends, you're allowed to, but if you're in a public get trying to get in mod vents, then you will be banned. We've banned a lot of people from doing it, but you are allowed to do it in uh, privates. But you're, I'm not sure, but if you are in a public, all you're allowed to do is just go up here and hit off a little bit just so you only get flung into the pool but if you go any further and then you get warned to get down wait where's the there it is so right now i'm going to land here or if i was smooth turn you can land inside the pool because that slows you down nearly nearly did but yeah that's basically it about glitching next up is about big and small monkey so big and small monkey you get asked a lot and people say that you're hacking which is against the rule but i promise you 
when I put on Big Monkey, I'm not hacking. Uh, you can buy this through the Discord. They are currently on sale right now um, on the prices. So this is Big Monkey. You don't see from the head all the way up there. You see from your oh hands. Oh my goodness. And your hands are massive. You could give him a nice hug and s hit him. And then, yeah. But I'll show you some more monkey now. So I believe uh, Big Monkey is $8, six pounds. Um, and I believe small it's monkey, £4.50 for small. Yeah, £4.50 for small, meaning it'll be $6. I believe they'll be yeah. coming to in but right now they're on sale so i think this is and this is some old monkey so oh my god the corona badge literally just takes over everything but yeah it just you can troll people it looks really funny um when you're big well, everyone will be question so my recommendation is buy big monkey if you can it, makes it will help a lot noisy. yeah and it yeah <laughs> Everyone will start screaming, and it's just fun to have. Uh, I, ne I never make the server scream. Never. Next up is the cosmetic locker. So, if you read this, limited cosmetics must be bought when they're on sale. Some people don't have them. So, uh, click race sale. Wait, which ones do you not have? Do you have 2023? I have nothing, Jay. Not okay, click, on, click a button then. Click that. And then click that. Okay, see, you d he doesn't have it because he didn't bought it when... So th none of the enable and disable button will show for him. But since I bought it when the sale thing. was... For me, it comes up. And look, it's like a light on your head. It's a badge. And a thing that goes on your back. Oh, that's cool. uh, there's also a race sale. You get a car here. Tire on that's your really back. Funny. And a flag in your hand. But that's very cool. And yeah, so basically, if you didn't purchase them, you're not gonna get them. Next up is the patron. So patron helps us so much. Um, once you're tier one, you get a role in Discord saying that you're a patron supporter. If you reach tier two, uh, then you get five thousand five hundred bananas, and you get this early access hat and this early access badge, and it also comes with. 5,500. So if you want to help us, support us, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. But it's https uh, dot dot patreon dot com as studio slash membership. You'll have to take a screenshot once you've bought it to prove and then tell Maz your name in game and he'll sort you out. So that helps us a lot. Um, but yeah, the next question is why do I make videos on the game? So I make videos on this game to truly promote this game and It's just I find it really fun to make videos, especially with the community I have right now um, Hopefully they can stay like this forever uh, But yeah, I make videos Hoping to earn soon. I'm not gonna say what I need to do because you might take it down but I have one of the things done, and that's 1,000 subscribers. I have 1,000 subscribers. Actually, I have like 1,200 now. So thank you guys so much. Um, but I do have that. I actually need one more thing done, which you guys can help me by watching this entire video to the end. Once I start um, earning from YouTube, it will go all towards this game to servers, which comes down to our second point, which is servers. So, servers, if you know, uh, can hold 20 people at a time, and there's only one server at the moment. But you know, Gorilla Tag has lots of servers, and this is why fan games won't have like automatic servers. They'll have to have a button or something for servers. But if you do want different servers, so it's just random and you don't have to click server one, server two, it'll just put you in it automatically. Um, that costs ninety pounds, so it's a lot more in, in dollars. So it'll be way over a hundred dollars for you, some people watching this video, and it's just really hard for us to get. So you guys supporting, buying bananas, uh, buying big and small monkey, supporting Patreon, and watching my videos to the end really, really do help uh, my channel and this game a lot.
So the next thing is, does Maz have other games that he's made? And the answer is yes, he does. Um, Maz has made two other games, I believe. Um, he's made Dino Chase. I know lots of people from this game. Well, not lots, but like a small majority of people have played Dino Chase. I have played it too on his Oculus because when it was made, I did not have one. But I have played it before and let's just say it wasn't the best because Maz was new to coding, new to making games. Other than Dino Chase, he's also made Lizard Chase where a lot of people have come from. So thank you guys so much. Uh, so Maz gets loads of new people come in when they install Lizard Chase. Lizard Chase, you can still play right now as built-in mods, but this game's a lot better because there's more mods. There's literally no mods in um, Lizard Chase other than me. I'm literally like the only one. And Maz, me and Maz are literally the only people who have mods cosmetics in that game. And you can't get banned, which is a big problem. But since the game's never getting an update, um, if people don't like it because of the community, come play Curler Boss. That moves us on to our next point, which is can, like, how does the balance system work? So, balance system works for everyone, but if you already know, in the mod room, that all the moderators have a computer, which you guys can't see because it's a Playfab cosmetic. Um, but we have a computer in the mod room where we can report people. But you guys can also report people by joining the Discord in the description and putting it in game reports. Um, and then, so the way this works is I'll click a number, say, uh, you find their username, find what number they're on, click that number. So let's just pretend it was Am Louie. I'll click one and then click one of these three options. Say he was being toxic, I'd report him for toxicity, which is there, or hate speech or cheating. Cheating being him glitching out the map, or legit actually cheating, meaning flying and whatever else. So this has a higher chance of moderators seeing it, because it goes straight to the Discord and people look into it but yeah that's how the reporting system works and they ban them on playfab so yeah that's basically yeah that's how it works next thing is if you can become moderator overnight from trial mod and the answer is no you can even get your trial mod removed even if you buy it which is very unlikely we don't have to most trial mods actually get through to moderator and then when not a moderator that's normally when we kick people for not being active and whatever but normally trial mods normally go through to being moderators and so on um there's one person in particular that went to trial mod flex in his whatever he had i think it was a banana that trial mods got back when the first started um and his name was Pebbles VR. If you know about Pebbles VR, then I'm very sorry for you. But yeah, if you want to know, just look it up on YouTube. There's a video, I think, about Pebbles. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Am Louie, do you have anything to say? Okay, that's fine. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe. Uh, Discord in the description. So with the Patreon and... Yeah, that's it. So thank you so much to Am Louie for helping me in today's video. Peace out, guys. See ya. Bye.